the project was first proposed, I had two reactions. The first was, what an incredible honor to be asked to direct this film. And the second was, how are we gonna pull this off? Because it's a very ambitious project with such a wide scope. We want to tell Ignatius' story from the beginning. That is from where it all started. His conversion, his experience of God, calling him from being the Spanish Empire's loyal and ambitious soldier to being our Lord's gallant, courageous knight. We want depth. We want to understand how it happened to Ignatius and how it can also happen to any one of us. We discovered that the existing or available film on Ignatius' life is in black and white and is in Spanish because it was produced in the 1940s. How sad and how ironic we felt because the young people now are very creative and are very visual. If you want to talk to them, you must engage them in media. We certainly want to reach out to the youth, the hope and the future of this world and be part of their formation. I think the story of Ignatius has a lot to offer modern audiences. He was a romantic in an unromantic age, which I think is a good description for how it's like to be a Christian or a Catholic nowadays. I think modern audiences will be able to relate to how he wanted to renew the spiritual lives of, first of all, himself and, and his, his, his friends and his followers. A while back, we flew to Spain to do research and to scout locations for the film. And it was a very beautiful experience to be able to visit all these key sites where main events of his life happened. And what we want is for the film to be able to bring audiences to these places, to witness these events in his life, and hopefully gain a better understanding of who this man really was. We don't want this film to be just a dry recitation of things that happened in St. Ignatius' life. We'd rather try to delve into who he was, what was going on in his mind, what factors drove his decision-making, and ultimately guided him into the insights that would form the bedrock of his spiritual exercises. I think that in exploring this, audiences will find something in St. Ignatius' personality or his life that they can relate to. Our hope is that at least some of the audience will say to themselves, I am of the same frame as this man. Why don't I do as St. Ignatius did? This is really a very ambitious project for us. It is huge because it is a period piece. We are going back to history and we will therefore shoot everything in Spain. Imagine the scale of that. The period sets, costumes, and of course, Spanish actors. Wow, but that is the only way to be faithful to Ignatius's story. Over the years, we've developed the skills and the experience together and uh, separately. I think it's a very strong team. We have the passion for telling a very good story, for bringing the story of Ignatius to life. And I think the whole team is committed to uh, making this project a huge success. I think it's high time that we, as a community of people who have been touched by uh, the work of St. Ignatius and his followers, attempt to bring his story to a whole new generation of viewers. If you're one of the millions who have been educated in the Jesuit tradition, if at some point in your life you have been touched, moved, or spurred forward in your spiritual life by the teachings of Ignatius, or if you simply understand the value of doing something for the greater glory of God, then we invite you to come support this film. Please help us retell the story of St. Ignatius of Loyola so that we can inspire the world once again help us bring it to life, and perhaps together we can set the world on fire. As Ignatius would tell us, let us do great things for the greater glory of our God.